Hi, my name is Liz, and I'm going to try and do a bunch of short movies to help assist you guys who want to lose weight. Um, before I start, I'm not qualified in sports or medicine or anything of the sort. Um, the only qualification I have is that I've lost 75 kg, which is about 165 pound, and that would be in the last 18 months. By all means, you're welcome to challenge and correct any information that I have. Um, you should most definitely Google things. In fact, you should Google things from even professionals. I'm a 34 year old mother of four. Um, I was a fairly active child. I used to run around. I used to eat a ton. And because I was pretty active, I used to, it was fine. Um, it was okay. I bent it off. I had teenagehood. I think at about 18, I had my first child, which was quite young. But because I was suddenly less active, I hadn't changed my eating habits, I started gaining weight. So this happened steadily for pretty much the next 17 or so years, and I gained quite a bit of weight. I'd lied to myself quite a bit, thinking, well, you know, go to the mall, you see quite a large woman, you go, know, well, at least I'm not as bad as her, you know, she's quite a bit, she's got, she's got, she's got fat legs, and I do, oh, check out how fat that chick is. I lied to myself. I would look in the mirror and I'd go, well, nice legs, my calves are pretty good, you know, and my feet aren't too fat, and yeah, the face is a little bit chubby, the arms are pretty good, and then I just somehow managed to neglect seeing this huge big mass in the middle here, and my ass and my stomach, and everything, I was huge. I got to about 30, and then I realised that I was having heart palpitations, I was having trouble with diarrhoea, I was having all sorts of stuff, and I realised that I was going to die before my children left home, and that was pretty hard to take. I had to do something. Thinking about it and thinking about it, wondering how I was going to do it. I can't afford a gym membership. I can't afford this. I can't afford that. I didn't have the time. I'm working full time. I've got four children. My husband was working. It was pretty bad. My um, bed broke because I was sagging because of the extra weight. I took all the blankets because I was so huge. My poor husband never got any. Fitting in any kind of seats with arms on them. You just hit both sides. You stand up, the chair comes with you. I mean, it was a bit embarrassing. I was Luckily, I was pretty active though still. We still went out to the beach. We still went out and did stuff to the park. Although I admittedly sit on my ass. I was still fat. I was still unfit. I just wasn't as unfit as some people get, I suppose. I started with Wikipedia. I thought Wikipedia would be the best way to go because it's generally fairly accurate, if nothing else. And everything I looked up on Wikipedia, I googled on and found other websites that verified or argued with and I pretty much found all these varying opinions and made up my own opinion on it and tried different things. Um, for the main part, there was this one page on dieting that Wikipedia had and it pretty much explained in a really nice way how everything worked. Um, but the basic stuff was stuff that I'd learned in school, which was basically, you know, energy in, energy out, which is fairly logical. And stuff I learned in high school, early high school, that, you know, like a battery or a light bulb, you know, energy goes in, energy goes out. I can understand that. With people, it's somewhat like a balloon, I guess. If you've got a balloon with a hole in it and you have water going into it faster than the water's coming out of it, then you end up having a bigger balloon. If the water's going into it slower than it's going out of it, then it's obviously going to shrink, isn't it? And that's pretty much the way your body works. And so how do I go about measuring the energy in my body? Funnily enough, they gave me that information too. It's kilojoules or calories. You get the kilojoules, you divide it by 4.2, that's your calories. The first day I went in and I ate 600 calories, I was really hard on myself and I ate salad only and nothing else and I was starving. And then I was like, well, I've eaten 600, I need to burn 600. So I tried burning 600 calories in a day. Now, because I'd only eaten 600 calories, I funnily enough felt pretty crap. And I thought, my God, how am I going to keep this up for more than a couple of days? I mean, it was absolutely insane. And then I found something called BMR, and that's called basal metabolic rate. This is how many calories you use from just sitting on your butt doing nothing. It's, it's for your brain, your lungs, your muscles, just staying alive, you use calories. I'm like, well, this is awesome. So I worked out, I found a couple of websites which worked out your BMR online. Apparently I used about 3,500 at the time, and I'm thinking, well, that's a pretty good number. I'm happy with that, but, so if I'm using 3,500, I have to only eat less than 3,500. So I researched out and thought, well, apparently one pound is 3,500 calories, so if I ate nothing in a day, I'd lose a pound a day. 
although eating nothing a day is probably not very realistic. A kilogram is 9,000 calories, so you know. So I worked out if I ate 1,500 calories and I, I used 3,500, that's deficit of 2,000 calories a day. So over four, four and a half days, I'd lost a kilogram, guaranteed. It was the maths. It was simple maths. There's no other proven way to lose weight other than this formula, energy in, energy out. And every other weight loss program you've got is based on this. You've got your points, which are Weight Watchers, which are basically calories. They just simple it down, dumb it down a bit. Um, all the meal plans you get, all the everything else they work out so you're using less calories than you're using. So I mean, I wasn't doing no exercise and I was losing weight. And after two weeks I thought, well this is great, this is fantastic. But I really should do some exercise so I feel a bit better. So I started going, uh, my brother helped me out and paid for a gym membership so I went to the gym every day and oh, I was the biggest girl there. You better believe it. But no one actually looked at me because there were other people who were big and everyone else was too busy doing their own gym thing. I just felt self-conscious. But it went away within about a week or two and I was sweet. So I started losing weight up to a couple of kilograms a week. It was awesome. I was just losing tons. Um, I've pretty much done that. Of course, as I got lighter, I used less calories because my heart and my muscles didn't have to work as hard to move around and do things. Um, so, of course, my BMR. So I did more exercise... I did weights because muscle uses more calories than fat, so I've got extra weight, uh, extra muscle. Women, funnily enough, cannot get like Arnold Schwarzenegger, not without a, a few drugs or a lot of hard work, so I've done weights pretty much the whole time. I've taken up cycling because burning calories in exercise is all about the heart rate. If you get the heart rate faster, you burn more calories. It's as simple as that. You can do Pilates or yoga all you like, but it's not going to burn half as many calories. If I'm going to do an hour of exercise, I wanted to make sure it counts. I want to make sure that I'm getting six to nine hundred calories burning for that hour of exercise rather than two or three hundred for Pilates or yoga. I think I lost most of the weight over the first 12 months at what point, which point I hit my first mini goal and I started eating a few more calories to try and get into more of a normal routine of what I should and shouldn't eat. You can eat whatever you like. You can eat when you like. You can eat one meal a day. You probably shouldn't. You can eat KFC and McDonald's, although you won't get very many for the calories. Um, you can eat right before bedtime, should you want to. If that's really what buzzes you about, I tend to be more of an evening eater than morning, so I'll eat. I think I budgeted it to about 300 calories for breakfast, which is a good three wheat bix and or some a half cup of muesli and some yogurt, a couple of pieces of toast. I worked out what filled, filled me most for the calorie. I ate about 300 calories for breakfast, 300 for lunch about five to eight hundred for dinner plus a couple of hundred calorie snacks in between so I then never got hungry. Um, that that worked for me really well. Occasionally I'd always leave myself a couple of hundred calories. So yeah, fifteen hundred I mean twelve hundred up to two thousand calories I would eat personally. Depending on how I felt, where I went. If I went out and had a big meal at a restaurant, I would eat quite a bit more because you know it's restaurant food. I would try and eat less, but I mean come on. You got a thirteen dollar cheesecake in front of you. Fill up on vegetables. Eat half a cheesecake. It didn't really matter if I went overboard occasionally because it was only occasionally, and I knew that if I stayed under my three thousand five hundred calories, then I wasn't going to gain weight. Anyway, that's my basic overview of weight loss for now. I will go into detail and answer any questions that you guys might want to ask. Um, I'll do some more tutorials on hints, tips, things that made it easier for me. And in the meantime, here's some pictures of me um, from before and after.